Hey guys, it's Ann. Welcome to the channel. And today, I show you my eat my shirt bin, and in a little bit, also eat my jeans. So let's look and see what's going on in here. Uh, today we're going to basically explore the idea that uh, your clothing, when you're done with it, shouldn't go to Goodwill or to the landfill. It should go to the worms. So let's see how they're doing with it. So I forgot, of course, to look and see what we did last time, but uh, see, I, I know at least one shirt is here, and I think this looks like I might have been trying to bait it out over here, possibly. It is currently 67 degrees Fahrenheit in the basement, so hopefully the worms are going to start getting a move on. Yeah, so this is all bedding. I don't see any worms over here. Or, well, I do see worms over here. I just don't see a, a large mass of the worms over here. But let's see what they're doing with this t-shirt. Um, not, not, definitely not done. In fact, doesn't really look like they've started a whole bunch. So we'll put that over there on the new side. And then we'll look over here at the side with the oldest t-shirt. Okay, now I'm seeing a lot of cocoons over here. And I see little tiny bits of t-shirt. I'll put in the, uh, the description on the video how long this has been going on. Give you an idea how long it takes them to eat a shirt. Now I did try and feed them pretty good to get going on this. But uh, the castings, of course, are building up. So this shirt is also pretty new. But it, it does have a few places where it's being eaten. So let me know in the comments below, have you tried this before? Have you tried feeding shirts and clothes to your worms? I know some of you have. Um, let me know how that's gone. Well, it looks like there's a lot of food over here, so that's why they're not moving out. So we will move the t-shirt over there and any kind of extra food. Yeah, I just I see a lot of worms, but I don't see the actual food. See, maybe potato? Yeah, actually, you know what? That does look like a bunch of potato. Um, just the skins, of course. But my worms aren't fussy. They'll eat potato skins. See, half of that, and other than that, the old, old t-shirt, all that's left are these little, little tiny bits. So we'll just kind of start moving anything that looks like food over to this side where the new bedding is. All right, got kind of a little worm ball there. And there's, there's what's left of a t-shirt. There it is. They still have that one little piece left. So I'm going to leave this with the, uh, the string out on the top, and then hopefully the worms will get out of it, and we can be done with that old, old t-shirt. So we're just going to keep flipping through here, moving all this over. That way the worms can finish up whatever they're doing over here, and then uh, move over to the new good bedding or clean bedding, but as you can see they're not moving over very quickly. So I'm going to pile this up a little bit higher. It smells a little citrusy, so maybe they still do have quite a bit of their old feeding to eat on, but we're going to give them some new food in with their new t-shirts. So I'm going to have to leave that on top of here. So we'll bury the t-shirts, which is what I normally do. Bury the t-shirts and then I usually put kitchen scraps on top of the t-shirts. You are not going to believe what Cece had on her porch. Cece had some pumpkin left. I really didn't think we were going to have any more pumpkin this year. But here we are. Here, here they are getting some pumpkin in April. This is not April Fool's Day pumpkin. This is just 
actual pumpkin. Let me get them a little bit more. We'll get our little avocados in there as well and cover them up with the in-process bedding on top of the new bedding. That way everything gets all schmoodled together and they can eat it faster and kind of flatten, dang it, flatten this all out so it can dry out a little bit and then we will just put the covering over the new side. And we'll let this part dry out and maybe that'll help them move over a little bit. All right, well don't go anywhere. I'm gonna go get the blue jeans. Here we are at the Eat My Blue Jeans bin. Holy mother of pearl. Look at all of those springtails. I don't know if you can see that. They are having a party and we caught them. All right. Well, you can see they've made some lovely castings here. Got about a pound of my Uncle Jim's mix in here. Red wigglers, blue worms, and European night crawlers. Probably a little over a pound by now. So let's start unburying the blue jeans here. Last time we looked at it and we could see that the, the waistband was starting to go and that the worms were living in the pockets and everything here. And so let's kind of shake, shake. Trying not to fling too many worms. <laughs> All right, worms, get out of the belt loops. All right, so looking at just the regular part of the jeans, looks like the legs are going a little. All right, let's move the blue jeans and see if there's any food anyplace else because I'm not seeing any in the creases that I left in the blue jeans. Okay, so it looks like we've got some, maybe a kiwi peel, some tomato peels, something like that. Let's kind of get in here and look. Looks like this side is pretty wet, which is good if you're trying to get rid of blue jeans, but maybe not so great if you're trying to keep the bugs under control in here so let's let's make this a little bit more homogenous here and then we'll hopefully get this a little bit under control uh, let me know if you've ever put blue jeans into a, a worm bin I mean, you can see this bin is really nice and healthy very good moisture for uh, the worms to eat things and also breed. Definitely not a good moisture to harvest. Good thing that's not my, my goal here. All right, so we're going to move everybody over a little bit. And then I'll just leave a little sprinkling down here, there on the bottom. And then we'll start putting the blue jeans back in. But we'll put them waistband down this time. And then we'll start feeding them. All right, we'll give them a, a little bit of uh, pumpkin in each one of the folds. That way we can see what progress they've made. Okay. And we'll stretch out. Seem to be making some progress there. A little bit there. Okay. Kind of stretch it out a bit. Okay. So obviously this isn't the fastest way to get rid of your blue jeans, but if your goal is what my goal is and keep things out of the landfill, then uh, this is a pretty decent way to get rid of things if you have the time and the room and the worms to do it. If you like these kind of experiments, I have a playlist I can put right there. And if you want to see the last episode of the Eat My Clothing bins, I will put that right over there. And if you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.